Bitch, I've been a scrub since day one. Scrub another toilet till the pay come. Popping 10 pills till the pants numb. I can feel all the head from my day one. Claiming they click like they into it. What up, dude? The fuck is up? Alright, YouTube, what it do? Sleepy, you already know what it is. Today, I wanted to do just like a smaller video, no product review, no vlog, nothing like that. I just wanted to have like a little discussion about <clears throat> how I personally afford streetwear, how um, I can afford to buy it and afford to wear it, how I get it, and then I also wanted to put a little effort and time into explaining um, how I feel about the brands that I buy and how I feel about buying and reselling. Um, because obviously that's like a somewhat of a deal like in the streetwear community is buying and reselling and the prices of the clothes, sometimes the shit is expensive. Uh, you know, there's no denying that, uh, that sometimes the shit gets pricey. Uh, so yeah, hopefully you guys like this video. I thought of the idea to do this video and I was like, fuck yeah, I think that'd be pretty sick. Inform people about how I can afford to buy it and what I feel about reselling and all that kind of shit. So hopefully this video doesn't end up being 20 minutes long, but hey, fuck it. To answer the question, first and foremost, how do I afford to buy streetwear? And the most simple answer would be uh, I buy and resell clothes. That's pretty much how I afford the majority of the clothes that I buy. I have a full-time job straight up. Like I work 60 hours a week. I have people that I take care of and I take care of myself and I make a decent amount of money, but still, even with that decent amount of money, uh, with the clothing that I'm into and like the and the collecting part of it to me, it's not just like buying the clothes and it's more of like a collection to me. Do I wear the clothes? Yeah, of course I wear the clothes, but a lot of my shit, um, you know, sits in the closet longer than I wear it. I wear it eventually, uh, but it's more of a collection to me. I get the pieces, I hang them up, I have my shoes and my hats and it's shit that I look at and it's shit that makes me happy. So that's what I do. It's just impossible to be able to afford everything that you want with like these kind of brands and that's something that I've come to learn like when I first started collecting clothes I was buying and buying and buying and buying like every drop I was like this is sick I'm buying it I'm buying it and then like I was fucking dead broke dude straight up like even with a decent amount of money in your checking account if you buy Supreme every week it, one thing from every week a hoodie and a hat or two shirts or like seriously every week by the end not even like you won't even make it to the end of the season dude like halfway through the season you will be dead fucking broke and that has happened to me many times so like probably like a year ago i was like you know what fuck yeah i want to collect clothes i like clothing but i just straight up cannot afford out of my pocket out of the money i make at work i can't afford to buy all the shit that I want. So I started buying and reselling shit. And uh, that has grown a lot. And now today, that's how I get the majority of my clothes. When I buy shit from in store or online, probably 90% of the time, it comes out of a separate bank account that I have for buying and reselling. And I don't touch the money that I make at work. So, um, I, like I said, I started doing that like a year ago um, and I buy and resell clothes and I do it on many different social media outlets and I do it with many different brands. Some brands that it's like socially acceptable and some brands other people get really fucking pissed that I sell that shit but I really don't give a fuck what other people think. There's a market for shit, so of course I'm gonna sell it and I'm gonna make money on it and I'm still a collector, I'm still a consumer of the clothing. I don't go and wait in line and buy a bunch of shit and then don't wear it and just sell it all. Like, I don't do that. I buy for myself and then I buy to resell.
Um, that is how I buy streetwear with money that I resell and just it just accumulates and goes away and comes back and I sell five things and I buy two things for myself and then I sell four things and buy one thing for myself and it's like another kind of job because it's like time consuming and you have to label shit and ship shit and put it on and then when you're selling shit on Instagram, Depop, eBay and offer up you got to post it on all four things so you know like it is a process and it's time consuming but it's just like that's something that I do to make sure that I can buy the shit that I want and that I want to wear because just in these videos that I've posted that's probably a gang of money worth of clothes that if it came out of my straight pocket from work I would be broke dude I couldn't even fucking buy gas to go to work because my fucking closet would be full of supreme shit so it's like what do I think about buying and reselling? Obviously, I do it myself, so I don't have a problem with it, dude. I think if somebody finds an opportunity to make money and they're doing it at like a respectable level, like I'm buying one to four sweatshirts to resell, like I don't have a problem with that. And if anybody else is gonna do it, more power to you. It's just like the things that I don't really agree with is like people running like a 50 slot bot or like a 500 or 200 slot bot and then they're copying 400 of the same shirt and then they're reselling 398 of them and they're keeping two of them for themselves. That I don't really agree with. Would I go out of my way to fucking talk down and talk shit on somebody who's doing that? No, because I don't really give a fuck. But I just don't really think it, that's really that cool when somebody like takes it to that level. But uh, yeah, if you're gonna cop for yourself and and you wanna cop to resell to make money and, and I don't have a problem with that and I do it myself and I do it with Supreme and I do it with FTP and I just run into a lot of problems uh, with selling FTP because like I think people take it more personably because there's people that have like, Supreme's been around since 93. 80% of the people who buy Supreme were not born in 1993 yet. But now with FTP, there's people that have been fucking with it from the beginning and they have like this connection to it, which I'm one of those people. I've been fucking with FTP for more than two years now. It's been around for six or seven. I've been fucking with it for probably close to three years and I love FTP, dude. And I fuck with Zach. I've met Zach personally. Dude's cool as fuck. Uh, but does that mean I'm not gonna, if I can make money and like buy clothes for myself and keep the cycle going by selling that shit, of course I'm gonna do it, dude. And I uh, end up in arguments and fucking cyber wars with all these kids that are like getting so fucking butthurt that I'm reselling FTP. It's like I don't really understand where they're coming from, you know? Like that's just, that's how it is. That's the mar There's a market for those kind of clothes. If you buy it and put it for sale, people are going to buy it. Why am I going to refrain from doing that? If I have a shirt for $100, selling it for $100, if I don't do that, the man next to me is going to put it up for $100 and he's going to sell it and make the money. So I don't really have a problem with it. That's just my personal opinion. If you have a problem with it and you don't like when people do that, that's your personal opinion. You don't have to leave a comment saying how gay I am and how fucking stupid you think I am because I resell FTP. I already know you feel that way. That's tight. That's your personal opinion. I respect that opinion, but I myself am my own person. And that's just how the fucking cookie crumbles, dude. The clothing goes on sale. It sells out. You buy it and there's a market. People are waiting to buy shit at a resale price. Why would I not do it, dude? You know, I think the problem is like it's a lot of time like maybe younger kids that are getting angry and mad at shit like that because they don't really understand like the value or like the principle of money and like money is what makes the world go around. Is it sad? Fuck yeah, it's sad. Do I wish it was like that? Or I wish it was not like that? Yeah, I wish it wasn't like that. But you know, like if you could sell shit and make money and that's going to keep your feet going and that's what's going to make you cop the next thing and get a piece that you want or help you buy something for your family or buy this, how can you hate on the next man for doing that? That's just, I think people are tripping when they're when they're hating on me for that. But that's just my personal opinion. Like I said, 
And yeah, basically that's the gist of the video. That's pretty much how I get my streetwear, how I afford it, and that's how I feel about reselling. If you can cop and resell and cop for yourself and and uh, do it like that, then hey, more power to you. If it's your personal uh, belief or opinion that reselling is not the right thing to do and that like I'm fucking up the market for doing it, <clears throat> again, that's your personal belief more power to you. I hope that the, those belief systems work out and I hope you could stop every reseller on the internet and uh, I hope it works out like that. But the reality of it is, is that's probably not going to work out like that and it's just growing and growing and growing and growing and uh, I'm just not going to stand on the sideline. And, and but, but then again, that's not like my number one, pro like I'm not like just scavenging for just shit to resell all day, every day, like fucking copying all this just to resell. It's not like that, you know? Like I said, first and foremost, I'm a collector. I buy the clothes, I keep them, I collect them. When I need money to buy other shit, I, I'm just like at a steady pace, dude. You know, like I said, I cop one thing and then I buy two things to resell and then it's like that and that's how it rolls and that's how it goes and you know, that's how uh, that's how the shit stays in motion and, and that's how these videos are made and the fucking clothes are copped and the closet's full and that's just how it is. So if you made it to the end of the video, again, thank you for watching. Please leave your comments below. Let me know what you think about reselling. Let me know how you get your money to cop shit. If you use your parents' debit card, fuck yeah. Leave a comment. Tell me that your mom buys all your Supreme shit. That's fucking tight. If I personally ask my mom to buy me a $134 sweatshirt, she'd probably slap me and tell me to get the fuck out of her face. But... Uh, yeah, leave a comment. Let me know what you think about reselling. Let me know how you guys afford your streetwear, how you get it. Let me know if you guys are into collecting streetwear as I am. Please subscribe to the videos. Like I said, I'm trying to do a bunch of different shit, just vlogs and videos from here and there and product reviews and studio shit. So subscribe. Anybody who's been subscribed, anybody who's hit me up personally on a DM or email or fucking in the comments like, hey, bro, I fuck with you good shit keep going fucking hats off to you guys you guys are the shit seriously that's so fucking tight even though it's on a super small scale there's like a couple people a day that hit me up like hey i watch your videos they're sick as fuck that shit is so fucking tight and i got all you guys i was trying to do like a hundred subscriber giveaway even though it's like very very small and a hundred subscribers is really like you know, not that crazy, but I'm probably going to wait till like 300 or 500. So tell your homies to subscribe, sub stay subscribed, fucking watch the videos, share the videos, like the videos, whatever. And then when we get to like 300, 400, 500 subscribers, I'm going to do a giveaway and I'm definitely going to hook you guys up and I'm going to stay in touch with you guys. I try to hit back everybody in the comments, everybody in the DMs or whoever's hitting me up. I try to interact back with you guys and definitely I appreciate the support show your grandma show your mom show your dog subscribe and we'll see you guys next time peace bitch did the case get dropped hey yo boo yeah yeah i've been praying a lot but i don't know who's talking back is it satan or god could be the voices in my head since i've been kicking the ox all i really need is be so get up pass me the ox wrap the cable around my neck and then i stand up on top keep the chair from my feet and i should tighten the nut damn